At that time, Jesus went away and withdrew to the district of Tyre and Sidon. And behold, a Canaanite woman from that region came out and was crying. Have mercy on me, O Lord, son of David. My daughter is severely oppressed by a demon. But he did not answer her a word. And his disciples came and begged him, saying, Send her away, for she is crying out after us. He answered, I was sent only to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. But she came and knelt before him, saying, Lord, help me. And he answered, It is not right to take the children's bread and throw it to the dogs. She said, Yes, Lord, yet even the dogs eat the crumbs that fall from their master's table. Then Jesus answered her, O woman, great is your faith. Be it done for you as you desire. And her daughter was healed instantly. The Gospel of the Lord. My dear sisters and brothers in Christ Jesus, every child gradually and gladly moves from the kindergarten to the secondary school unafraid of what holds for them in future. But the child also grows in understanding, in knowledge, wisdom and in maturity as the years pass by, as she gradually progresses in her schools. Similarly, my dear sisters and brothers, the lifelong Christian journey progresses as we all journey together towards our destiny. We also grow in our faith from the childlike faith to the adult faith, the matured faith. The Gospel of today presents to us the encounter between Jesus and the Canaanite woman, a non-Jew. And this woman expresses her faith, not the childlike faith, but the adult faith, a faith that is mature through her persistence and wit which was able to move Jesus to do something for her. The region of Tyre and Sidon is a place where Jesus has not done that much miracles or wonders because their faith was low or shallow. But from that region comes this woman, Canaanite woman understanding, trusting in the divine power that Jesus had, asking him, begging him to heal her daughter. Even though Jesus was seemingly insulting her by saying that it is not good to throw the children's bread, to give the children's bread to the dogs, yet she was not shattered. She did not give up. She did not feel upset, but rather she expresses persistently. In fact, she was consistently persistent in expressing her adult faith by saying, but even the dogs eat the crumbs that fall from their master's table. By this, she says that even though we are unworthy, we are sinners, I am a sinner, I am a non-Jew, I am a Canaanite woman, I may not have or I am coming from a region where people do not have much faith in you, but yet I believe that you can do wonders in my life. You can heal my daughter. And that faith, the adult faith, moved Jesus to heal her daughter. 
by performing this miracle by healing jesus broke all the barriers and the boundaries and he explicitly tells us that he has come for the salvation of all humanity he has opened the doors of salvation to all and that in turn challenges us to look into our own attitudes towards the people of other ethnicity other language other races other nationalities as to what is my attitude towards them am i inclusive in my word and action and this such faith comes from a canaanite woman not even from the israelites because jesus says i have come to the lost sheep of the house of israel that shows that even though they are lost and they have gone away from the lord god never failed in his love for them just like the first reading we heard that i have loved you with an everlasting love and god was at first in his love and faithfulness to the people of israel even they turned away and they became the lost sheep not accepting the good shepherd jesus is but the canaanite woman a non jew a non israel was able to accept jesus as the one who has all power so therefore my dear sisters and brothers as we participate in this holy eucharist may we ask ourselves how steadfast in my love and faithfulness towards my god and towards my relatives towards my neighbors especially my family members to my spouse to my wife to my husband to my friends to my community to my religious life and secondly may we also ask ourselves how deep is my faith is my faith still at the child level or has my faith reached that maturity that adult faith we pray during this mass that we may continue to love and remain faithful to god and to one another and that we may develop deep trust and strong faith in jesus who can do everything in our life